Mendocino County Sheriff's Office are both asking for the public's help to locate three missing teenagers they're hoping did not suffer the same fate as their family members. Yeah, the other family members drove off a hundred foot cliff into the ocean off Highway 1 in Mendocino County, right near the city of Westport. Crawford's Gabe Slade brings us the very latest on the investigation of this fatal and tragic accident that killed five, including three children. Gabe? Yeah, that's right. Search and uh, yeah, search and rescuers are hoping that they find the three teenagers. Their two parents and three siblings died in this crash, but they're hoping that they will find them and they're asking for your help. I was at the scene two days ago. I can tell you it was a very confusing scene because there were no skid marks. There were no brake marks. There were there was no indication of why this vehicle traversed approximately over 75 feet of, of a dirt pullout and went into the Pacific Ocean. Mendocino County Sheriff and Coroner Tom Allman says there are a lot of unanswered questions about how this SUV carrying a family ended up at the bottom of a 100-foot cliff off Highway 1 in Mendocino County near the city of Westport. It happened here in a remote, rugged part of the coast. Westport is northwest of Ukiah. Jennifer and Sarah Hart from Woodland, Washington, were found dead in the vehicle in their seatbelts. Three of their six adopted teenagers, Marcus, 19 years old, Jeremiah, 14 years old, and Abigail, 14 years old, were found dead near the vehicle. It's believed they were thrown out of the car when it crashed. They were not wearing seatbelts. The fact that they weren't belted in certainly is a, a concern to us working with the Ohio Patrol to get answers, but I, I can fairly say that several of the questions I've been asked today will never be answered. We, it was unwitnessed. We don't know what happened. The Hearts had three more adopted teens that range from ages 12 to 15. They are still missing. Hannah is still missing. Sierra is still missing. And Devante is still missing. The search and rescue teams are scouring the coast with drones looking for the bodies of the missing kids. Listen, the Pacific Ocean is, is, a, is a very unpredictable body of water. Uh, we've had drownings in our coast where the bodies were recovered at the Oregon-California border in Crescent City. Neighbors of the Hart family said they saw the entire family pack into their car Friday and leave the Woodland, Washington area. So far, the investigators have not found any credit card transactions or gas station receipts to give them clues of where they traveled before going off the cliff. Despite the unanswered questions, at this point, they are working the case as an accident. We have no reason to believe, we have no evidence and no reason to believe that this was an intentional act. The best news that we could say is that three of these um, Victims were left with friends, and they were not even in the car at the time that um, it went over the bank. We want to know if in the Bay Area, if, if anybody recognizes this family of staying in a hotel, of eating at a restaurant, of getting gas at a gas station, any information on the whereabouts of where these people were 24 hours ahead of this tragic incident. All right, so... What's happening next? Um, tomorrow and for the foreseeable future, future the search continues. Uh, tomorrow morning, they're going to fly three drones with, with uh, high-def video capability. They fly them for a couple hours up and down the coast, and then they review the video closely, looking for any debris or any evidence of uh, where these lost three teenagers might be. Hopefully, they don't find bodies, but they might find more evidence from the car. Some of it has washed away from the scene, so they're looking for anything help uh, give them clues. In Ukiah, Gabe Slate, Cron 4 News.